दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम अक्षय डिड अ बिग मोनोलॉग एक दौर था जब इंडिया यू नो इंडियंस वर नॉट वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दे वर नॉट वेरी कंफर्टेबल सेइंग दैट वी आर इंडियंस एक्चुअली आई फिनिश द एंटायर शूट ऑफ अक्षय एंड कटरीना डायलॉग पार्ट इन लेस दैन टू थ्री आवर्स इवन इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन द फैक्ट्स दैट वी पुट आउट इन द सीन आफ्टर दैट वॉट अक्षय सेज वर द फैक्ट्स बट वो कितने लोगों को पता थी आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ वॉट वी आर एज अ कंट्री गेटिंग इंडिपेंडेंस इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन विथ बेली एनी मनी टू रीचिंग टू वर्ल्ड फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन जस्ट सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स फॉर एज फार एज अक्षय एंड कटरीना आर कंसर्न दे वॉज जस्ट बैंग ऑन एंड सडनली वेन दिस सीन केम दे वॉज द रिजाउंडिंग क्लैप एंड आई वॉज शॉक दैट ये मल्टीप्लेक्स का रिएक्शन ऐसा कैसे ये तो गेटी गैलेक्सी में हम देखते हैं या चंदन में देखते थे तो वेन दे रेड इट एंड दे सेट बिल्कुल दिस इज अ किलर सो आई वॉन्टेड लंडन टू बी इन इट्स फुल ग्लोरी एंड विद इन दैट ग्लोरी यू शो दैम दैट वी आर बेटर दैन यू Hi, this is Sheetal. You are watching Pinkula. Independence Day पर Bollywood patriotic movies का rewatch करना is a tradition right now. But let me tell you, आज हम एक iconic Bollywood scene का breakdown करने वाले हैं with the director himself. I'm talking about the movie Namaste London. So let's welcome the one and only Vipul Shah. Welcome Hi. to Pinkula. Thank you so much. You know, आज भी ये movie release हुआ था 2007 में. I'm talking about Namaste London. But आज भी जब ये scene लोग देखते हैं, उनको goosebumps आता है. तो वी गो डू अक्विक सीन ब्रेक डाउन हम प्ले करेंगे और बीच बीच में सवाल जवाब करेंगे सर बताइए कि ये वाली जो सीन है हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉज इट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द मूवी बिकॉज द कैरेक्टर जैस कटीनाज कैरेक्टर शी इज समन हु ट्राइज टू बी अंग्रेज इन द मूवी राइट उनको नहीं दिखाना है कि वो इंडियन है तो ये वाला सीन क्यों इम्पॉर्टेंट था जो लव स्टोरी थी उसमें एक बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट एंगल ये है कि ये लड़की जो है जैस जसमीत वो अपने आप को इंडियन नहीं समझती और अक्सर ये होता है कि Uh, ए, एक दौर था जब इंडिया यू नो इंडियंस वर नॉट वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दे वर नॉट वेरी कंफर्टेबल सेइंग दैट वी आर इंडियंस टुडे इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट इन 15 इयर्स थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड अ लॉट आज हम बहुत प्राउडली बोलते हैं पर वो दौर ऐसा था एंड मैं नमस्ते लंदन की शूटिंग के पहले मैं लंदन में बहुत घूमा था okay. ऐसे Uh, और उन पॉकेट्स में ज़्यादा घुमा जहाँ पे इंडियन पॉपुलेशन बहुत प्रोमिनेंट uh, है mm-hmm. और मैंने एक चीज़ देखी थी कि वाइल दे वर बीइंग इंडियन वो बहुत खुश थे कि दे आर इंडियंस बट दे हैव आल्सो कॉम्प्लेक्स अबाउट द सो कॉल्ड वाइट स्किन और अक्सर जब आप अपने देश की कमियाँ देखना पसंद करते हैं तो आपको पता नहीं होता कि हमारे देश में कितनी ग्रेटनेस है और यही रीज़न होता है कि आप अपने आप को डिसोसिएट करना चाहते हैं आप ये कहना चाहते हैं कि भाई मैं तो सेकेंड जनरेशन हूँ थर्ड जनरेशन हूँ एंड देन सडनली यू रियलाइज कि ओ माय गॉड जिस कंट्री से मैं दूर जाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ या कर रही हूँ एक्चुअली दैट कंट्री हैज सो मच मोर टू ऑफर इवन इन टू द फैक्ट्स दैट वी पुट आउट इन द सीन आफ्टर दैट वॉट अक्षय सेज वर द फैक्ट्स बट वो कितने लोगों को पता थी क्योंकि एक मानसिकता थी कि हमारा देश जो है वो आ, कुछ वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज के मुकाबले बहुत पीछे है बहुत कमज़ोर है दे आर मोर एस्पिरेशनल दे आर मोर सो आई थाट कि ये ऐसा एक सीन होना बहुत ज़रूरी है एंड ट्रस्ट मी माई राइटर सुरेश नायर एंड रितेश शाह और मैंने इस सीन के ऊपर कम से कम तीन साढ़े तीन महीने मेहनत की थी just to get it absolutely right in terms of every line right. hmm. because every line was a, like a slap and that slap had to be resounding to humne bahut versions banaye aur hum har 3 4 din ke baad ek aur version likhte the and finally they came up with this uh, absolutely brilliant scene according to me yeah. and it was anyway very interesting ke in a love story 
this is a turning point where girl starts to look at the boy differently till now she has looked at him as one jahil gawar aadmi uh, and suddenly she realizes that he knows about the country so much more he's not a typical farmer he is much more than that so that awakening in the girl starts to change their relationship so there were so many layers that were you know woven into this scene uh, so and i am a very patriotic guy i love to talk about my country Thanks. and i am i'm i'm very proud of what we are as a country uh, getting independence in 1947 with barely any money yeah. to reaching to world's fifth largest economy in just 75 years is a very very significant achievement so i am always very proud of it and so i thought that there was this beautiful situation which allowed me to have a sequence which talks about our country in a very proud way and that also has an effect on the relationship true how the girl looks at the guy so from so many angles this scene just worked so well for the script and in fact when i i shot this scene and i was watching the film first day in theaters to see how people are reacting and in those days multiplex mein log bahut cheer nahi karte the yeah. they were very subdued Silence, and very yeah. you know kind of composed and whatever and suddenly when this scene came there was a resounding clap and i was shocked that ye multiplex ka reaction aisa kaise ये तो गेटी गैलेक्सी में हम देखते हैं या चंदन में देखते थे तो दैट वाज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द सीन सो आई थॉट या आई मीन इट वाज अ ग्रेट मोमेंट एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू राइट दैट सीन एंड मेक इट दिस वे एंड इट वर्क आउट या एब्सोल्युटली इन फैक्ट इवन एज एन ऑडियंस फॉर अस इट वाज अ सरप्राइज एलिमेंट क्योंकि एक लव स्टोरी चल रही है नाम है नमस्ते लंडन ये हमारी पेट्रियोटिक सीन खास से आई इट वॉज एब्सोल्युटली सरप्राइजिंग Uh, as you mentioned bahut logon ne cheer kiya tha but ab bhi ye video jo aap comments mein dekhte ho even now people comment saying it is one of the most iconic scenes in bollywood till date i mean i keep getting this uh, every year i get some of the other platform telling us ke can we play this scene yeah. some radio station wants to play audio clip of this scene on the 15th august and it makes me very very proud Absolutely. and happy that uh because it is not about one scene it is about our country what people are loving is that the facts about our country that maybe they were not aware of and when they listen to this scene they feel proud about our country and that's why this scene be- has become so big in their hearts so i think that is that's very nice to feel that you know today's youngsters when they listen to this scene or they see this scene and they tell me that is this all factual and when you say ke yeah every line of it you say damn our country is so cool <laughs> and that's a fantastic feeling namaste sir mera naam hai arjun singh 5000 saal purani sabhyata ki wajah se hum hindustani sab ko aise hi chuk ke pranam karte you know this is also so nice that he's talking in hindi and she's translating it kyunki bahut sare movies mein humne dekha hai ki वो हिंदी में बात करते हैं एंड यू एक्सपेक्ट द अदर पर्सन टू नो इवन दो दे आर अंग्रेज सो ये व्हाई डू यू थिंक ऑफ डूइंग दिस सो सो देयर वर टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वी डिड इन नमस्ते लंदन हमने सारे अंग्रेजों को अंग्रेजी बुलवाई और हमने सब किया hmm. वो फेक एक्सेंट वाली हिंदी हमने नहीं बुलवाई बिकॉज दैट वॉज अ वेरी कॉन्शियस डिसीशन कि फिल्म का जो एक रियलिज्म होता है वो ख़त्म हो जाता है वैन योर कैरेक्टर सनली स्टार्ट टॉकिंग इन दिस इन दिस रियली बैड accent hindi and also in this situation this character who hates india so much agar wo hindi samajh le to fir to aapka scene waise hi flat hai so that was a very obvious and very uh, technical decision but the more important thing is that as she is listening to him and translating it something within her starts to change so that was very important that while we are talking about india there is a transformation of the character mm. that suddenly she is feeling so proud of her own country and she suddenly is you know realizing that why am i feeling so proud but i am feeling proud and that subtext made the scene emotionally very very rich uh, and the idea was not to put somebody down right idea was to show what we are and that's the first line right 
दैट बिकॉज ऑफ आर सिविलाइजेशन बींग फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स ओल्ड हम सबको झुक के नमस्ते करते हैं तो हम आपको इंसल्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं लेकिन हम क्या हैं ये आपको पता होना चाहिए एंड वाई ही इज़ डूइंग वॉट ही इज सपोज टू डू फॉर इंडिया विच इज़ फाइट फॉर इंडिया एंड इंडियाज प्राइड वॉट शी इज गोइंग इज गोइंग थ्रू इज अ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन सो इट वर्क ऑन अगेन ऑन बोथ द लेवल्स दैट्स वाई आई थिंक इट इट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दैट्स वाई वी वॉन्टेड इट दैट वे दैट दिस वेन शी विल स्पीक ऑल दीज लाइन्स इट विल चेंज समथिंग विद इन ऐसी सभ्यता जिसमें एक कैथलिक औरत प्रधानमंत्री की कुर्सी एक सिख के लिए छोड़ देती है और एक सिख प्रधानमंत्री पद की शपथ एक मुस्लिम राष्ट्रपति से लेता है उस देश की बागडोर संभालने के लिए जिसमें 80 प्रतिशत लोग हिंदू हैं इतने सारे फैक्ट्स हम श्योर किसी को तब नहीं पता होगा सर आ, मुझे बताइए अक्षय कुमार और कटरीना हाउ डि दे रिएक्ट मेन दे रेड दिस पार्ट ऑफ द स्क्रिप्ट एंड जब शूट चल रहा था वट आर दाइंड ऑफ चैलेंजेस बोथ इमोशनली एंड टेक्निकली दैट यू वेंट थ्रू no i think i was very uh, easy and sure about the impact of the scene the day i actually if i tell you that on the final morning of the shoot is the last draft that we finalized okay we we knew this is the scene and this is the dialogue but we were still not sure that every line was really sharp and there and then i got this scene and i read it and I, Suresh was in India and Ritesh was in India, but I was there and I called them. For them, um, uh, it, it was an odd hour, and yeah. and we kind of read the scene over the phone and we said, "Bang, done. This is it." So for me, it was very easy. I knew that even if I just shoot simple shots, uh, you know, the emotion of the scene will not allow actors to lose the impact. They will. they will give their best and then the scene will automatically you know start becoming more and more charged right. so i had very little doubt exactly. in my head and i also decided that i'm going to shoot it very very simple okay i'm not going to use my camera to do any tricks nothing i'm just going to leave it there mm -hmm. for people to just hear and give them that you know no not much of a camera movement very very static very staid so that they can enjoy the performances they can enjoy the scene they can enjoy the emotion and double layer emotion so for me it was all sorted in my head uh, when akshay of course akshay and katrina had read the script and they were aware that this scene was there and i kept telling them don't go by those dialogues i'm going to get you a better scene better. so when they read it and uh, they said vipul this is a killer and uh, it's terrific and it's going to be huge and i said i don't know about that but let's just make the most of it and let's have fun and uh, so actually on the set some of the you know so many junior artists mm -hmm. and all some of them were taken aback by this information oh so they didn't know some of the britishers didn't know and they said uh, oh you just making this up this can't be real and then we said no every line of it is real you can google it all this information is available and they were shocked so the transformation because of the scene had already started when we were shooting it and then of course when you see that kind of reaction then the unit gets more charged yeah. actors get more charged that okay this scene is already having an impact we need to do our best and uh, and my In, I mean, my instruction to both of them was just keep it very simple. simple. Don't we don't need to push any histrionics in it. Mm. Just say it as politely as possible, right. and it will deliver. Yeah. And that's what Akshay did and Katrina did. So it was amazing. How many takes did it take to get the scene? Not really, not many takes. Okay. Actually, I finished the entire shoot of Akshay and Katrina's dialogue part in less than two three hours. because they were so emotionally you know worked up yeah. and all we wanted to do was keep it simple keep it nice keep it polite say it with a smile on your face we don't need to insult them yeah. we just need to talk It's about awesome. us so just say it with that indian civilization which is at the core of this dialogue that, yeah. and then it was very simple for them to execute it and and then we just took 2 3 hours we finished it and uh, we in fact wrapped the day earlier than we had planned 
because it just went like in one flow one. done. Yeah, yeah. Were there any improvisations done by the actors or? The no. Not in this scene, I didn't allow. Okay. You probably feel that in our here, 21 languages, 5,600 books, and 3,500 magazines are published, which are worth 12 crore. In your country, you know, for any scene to be more impactful, its background score is also very important. So, this background score is going so well with whatever is happening. Talk to me about that process. How did you decide on that? And again, we went through multiple background. Background scores. We initially uh, tried a completely different sound design, and uh, and then I told Salim Suleiman that just let's stick to what is there: simple, emotional, effective. That's all that I want here, and uh, and give me something which is going to give audience goosebumps. And uh, so, Sare Jahan Se Achha is a great background melody for it, but. Keep it very very simple. We don't need big bang rhythm. Nothing. It should just be emotional. It should just enhance the emotion. So uh, earlier, whatever we had tried, then finally, when he made me hear that this particular piece with, you know, the scene, and I said, yeah, this is it. This is what we want. This is complete now. How is the Indian rope trip? Doctors, engineers, or scientists' ki ginti mein. Janab, ham sirf do bhar. That's where she starts feeling for it. Yeah, that's the switch, right? So that's the layering that was very important. In fact, in the edit, we all felt it was, uh, it should have been longer. Longer. The scene should have been longer. Yeah. But I said it's better. You know, when you feel, ah, why did it get over? <laughs> it then creates a repeat value. Yeah, but. Uh, just a hypothetical situation that if you get a shoot, get a chance to shoot this right now, what different would you want to do? Uh, I think I would probably reduce the reactions of some of the characters. Uh, I would probably uh, cast a better actor for the English actor. <laughs> okay. He was good. Yeah. But maybe in today's context, I would cast a better actor. But for as far as Akshay and Katrina are concerned. They were just bang on, and uh, I won't want to change anything in them. Uh, even Rishi ji's reactions are fantastic, yeah. so I won't want to change any of that. But yeah, I mean, these are the few things that I would yeah, want. Yeah, small. I am in front of you, and I am proud of you because we have never seen anyone as small or as weak. How amazing! You still have a smile on your face. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, uh, it's also amazing that this was shot in UK, right? And given the relation. Back then, we had with the Britishers. Do you think the location, the scene, that had an impact on this particular scene while shooting? Yeah, it did, and that's why I wanted to shoot it on the Thames River in an iconic location, iconic river, uh, a place where they are uh, proud of. Yeah. You know, they are proud of the whole river bank and how beautifully they have created the city of London. So I wanted. London to be in its full glory, and within that glory, you show them that we are better than you. So I think that was a subtle visual juxtaposition that I wanted to create, and also the third layer that kicks in at the end, that the fair, the Gora boy starts falling in love with Katrina. Katrina, yeah. So till now, for him, it she is just a doll. Yeah. But now, because of what she is speaking, so there was a lot played. In that scene, within the scene, so it was great fun. But yeah, I mean, for me, the location was important. That it had to be a, it it had to be something which UK or Britishers are proud of, proud, yeah. and that's why this location was selected. And uh, I think it came out pretty well. Yeah, came out really well. People love it. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember, or do you have any memories from the shoot of this particular scene with Akshay Kumar, with Katrina, that you can share with all of us? Any memory that you have? The memory of this was that this was the first time Akshay did a big monologue, and uh, he, before that he had not done many monologues of this kind. So I was very curious to see how he is going to go about it, but it just became like because I think somewhere the scene worked on it, and the Indian crew, uh, I can tell you, we were. We are, we were only twelve or thirteen people who had gone to make this film. Our entire crew was from UK, and somehow on that day, those twelve or thirteen people 
started feeling that they are more powerful than this 300 people, you know, crew of UK, and they were walking with a bit of attitude, uh, which I felt was the impact of the scene, and uh, <coughs> it felt good. I mean, after the after the day shoot, we all went for some beers in a pub and. And uh, there was a lot of banter that happened between the crew, right. all in happy and good mood. But suddenly the UK crew from next day onwards uh, started coming and saying, my DOP said, I, last night I googled about India, everything is true, fantastic. We didn't know, media doesn't talk about India, but India is achieving so much. Suddenly there was this shift and I think that was fantastic. That was the victory of the scene in that moment and post that the whole shoot uh, many a days uh, people discussed about what India is and suddenly that became the topic and everybody started coming out with new information so it became like a very very important conversation and that's when we also started feeling that this scene is going to resonate with audience very much. I think the scene became became iconic even before it released. So thank you so much for doing Pleasure. this. Pleasure. Namaste. I am Vipul Amrutlal Shah, and you are watching me on Pink Villa. Like, subscribe, and share the channel.